Disclaimer! Just because we do it doesn't mean you should. Hey builders, welcome back to Jeff and Adam Build a Zenith. Adam here. Just want to show you a little something that I did on the voltage regulator because, well, let me just show you. So here's what I got. So I've got this plate right here. This is all I did, basically. I put this aluminum plate, backing plate on the voltage regulator here um, because there was a gap uh, between the voltage regulator and this plate here, this mounting plate, this thin plate right here. Um, and I think that may be, I think that may have been uh, some of the causes of some voltage regulators that were burning out uh, from some of the online research that I did. Um, I don't know, it, it could just it could just be coincidental, but definitely wasn't good to have that gap there because one, that's a source of vibration, and two, uh, you wouldn't get good heat transfer. Um, so you know the whole the the you'll notice on the if you have one of these voltage regulators. The back of it is shiny, and that's that's to have a good heat transfer, whether it's like mounted right up against the firewall or wherever. Um, so, yeah, if you have a gap there, that air gap, it's going to be causing a lot of heat to build up. So I wanted to fix that. Um, and so all I did was I took this uh, piece of bar stock aluminum. This is one eighth by two inches. Got it from you know Lowe's aircraft supply or someplace like that and I just cut down uh, just enough here uh, probably could have been a little bit bigger and I probably could have even used two plates for the thickness but uh, and then because we, we still have to have access to these rivet holes which uh, this little uh, housing is going to go on for the cooling air to actually hit the voltage regulator um, yeah and then I just so I just cut it down here about 59 millimeters uh, in length and then uh, just kind of mostly centered it up, drilled a few quarter inch holes through it. And then what I did is I got some longer bolts. I believe these are four, uh, what are these? These are dash 11 bolts, I think. So they're a, a bit longer than, uh, they're actually longer than they need to be really, but just basically just longer than the uh, original bolts that were on here. And then what I also did, let me see if I can bring this camera around here. And what I also did is I put uh, some uh, steel self, or not, uh, uh, can't talk right now. And then what I did is I put some metal self-locking nuts um, as opposed to the nylon uh, style self-locking nuts. Because since this is an area where I know it's going to get pretty darn hot, um, I may as well put, you know, put the, the all metal lock nuts in there instead of the uh, nylon ones. Because... Um, you know, just that way we don't have any overheating kind of issues or anything. Um, and then, yeah, I had to put a few washers in there to get the uh, to get it the right height there. But yeah, it works out super great. Oh, and then what I did, you see that stuff oozing out of there actually right there. You might see that is I put some thermal paste uh, on the back of the voltage regulator as well as the back of the the aluminum plate there. And I've actually never used this thermal paste stuff before, but this stuff is pretty sweet. It just comes in like a tiny little amount like that. It's like, I think that's like, a, what is it? It's like half a half a gram? No, no, no it's 3.5 grams. Uh, and this stuff is Arctic silver, uh, high density polysynthetic silver thermal cooling compound. So, um, yeah, this is this is pretty pretty cool stuff. I think it'll work pretty well. Um, and so this way, it'll fill in that gap, and it will. Uh, create a really good thermal uh, transfer layer to the actual to well both to this plate um, and but just you know for the from the voltage regulator to this backing plate and then this thicker plate right here because that's the other good thing about this plate is it actually does act as a uh, as a uh, an additional heat sink for the heat from the voltage regulator to go into because the voltage regulator gets pretty hot because that's just how it's designed so anyway uh, I might put a link to that thermal paste stuff in the description of this video uh, just in case you want to get some for yourself I would definitely do that oh the other thing that I did right here is I uh, I swapped the direction I don't know this might come back to bite me later just like everything else but uh, I swapped the direction of the voltage regulator so now it's actually uh, the the connector is pointing aft um, and I did that because it was just too close I just felt like it was too close to the flywheel right here 
and I just didn't like that and I figured it'd be harder to access and connect and all that stuff later. So we have plenty of plenty of wire coming out of the uh, the generator here and so what we can do you know is just make the connector go around like that and it stays out of the way of the flywheel and all that stuff. So I don't really have any uh, I didn't really uh, feel like filming it but I hope this was helpful to you anyway. Uh, if it was, you can leave a comment, let me know, and let me know what you decided to do for your voltage regulator if you have something like this. It might help somebody else out who's watching this video. Uh, if you found this video helpful, hit that uh, thumbs up button because that really helps because then it lets other people know that this video is helpful and then they'll be helped by watching it. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to Jeff and Adam Build a Zenith because we're going to build this whole airplane and it's going to be great. So we'd love to have you along the way. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to get back to building. So I'll see you next time.